Hi everyone and how is everybody doing today? I hope your day is going great and you're having an amazing day so far. Regardless of what time of day it may be, I um, hope it's been a good one for you today. Um, hi, my name is Gabe and this is Gabe Loves Makeup and we are so glad to have you here. And when I say we, I mean you as in me as in you because this is your channel as much as it's my channel. So come on in, pull yourself up a chair, grab you a little snack, a little cup of cuppa, a little cup of wine, a cup of wine, a glass of wine, <laughs> a cup of coffee, you know, a soda, whatever it may be, a beverage, a snack, because today, guys, we got a long video. This is the favorite so far of this year. We're looking from January all the way to July, and this is going to be mainly mostly new products. So if this is something you're interested in and you want to hang out with me and you want to see what it is, I want to make sure to leave time stamps down below in certain sections if you want to just jump to those. Um, then come on in and pull up a chair and let's do it together. Before I get started, I just want to say one real quick thing. This is the Lisa Eldridge Lip and Strawberry Shock. Um, so, just want to let you guys know, it is really pretty. It is it is a beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous color. I put it with a little bit of dance card lip gloss over top of it. So, I know there'll be people asking me down below. So, I just thought I would throw that out there. So, first of all, I think we're going to start off with palettes first. I think we'll just jump right into some eyeshadows. And then we'll kind of jump around. So everything's going to be a little spontaneous. So, it's going to be all over the place. Um, but the first palette I want to talk about is this Born This Way palette. Um, I actually have it on now. I did um, a couple of the these these this shadow here, this one, and this one, and this one, and I make then actually a little bit of this one too. Um, I love this palette. Sorry, it's so messy, but I just absolutely love this palette. I think it's a great new palette. I know this one's been out for a while. This one's in, it's just newer to me. It's not really newer to the market. I know they came out with the Sunset Boulevard one. I think that's the name of it, um, and it has done really well. I think so far. Um, it's just got a little bit more shimmers in it. It's little bit more of a summer palette, but I picked up this one instead, the original one, and I just absolutely love it, and I just think it's just really beautiful if you're looking for really good mattes and really good metallics. Um, I just think it's great. It's just a super easy palette. It's great to work with. So I'm really, really enjoying this one. Um, the next one up again, I'm sorry, it's a little messy. I've got, it's like, it just gets so messy. This is the Patrick Top Palette in the Major Dimension 2. Um, this palette is just absolutely stunning. It's just gorgeous. It has like all these beautiful rose tones in it. Um, they're just a really beautiful pigments in it. Um, the mattes are really beautiful too. They just, they're just, it's just a beautiful palette. If you're looking for really beautiful, nice, neutral, but yet with rose tones in it, but a little bit more copper in it, this would be a really good palette especially with fall coming around the corner. This is a great summer palette, a good spring palette. It's actually a good anytime palette. I'm um, actually this one a lot better than his first palette, so I just think this is just an amazing palette. Um, it's definitely worth the money. The first one, I would say it's okay. It was not one of my favorite palettes last year. Um, this one is definitely up there. Um, I really have really enjoyed this one. Um, the next one is also a Too Faced palette, and this is the um, the the Too Femme Ethereal Spring palette. Um, this really, really cute. It came out for spring. It's got like these really beautiful neutrals in it with little pops of jewel tones and little pops of peaches and a little pop of like, you know, a little pop of like, like a really soft powdery blue. And then they've got like a little bit of a teal to it. Um, this palette, I think, is, um, is still on... The, I can't remember, I think it's on the, I'm not the Too Faced site, I believe, or I can't remember, but it's on somebody's site. There's somebody still has it, but I mean, but it is sold out in a lot of places already. Um, I don't know if they're going to keep this palette or not, um, but it is, was just a spring edition, but who knows, they, you know, Too Faced always says they're going to get rid of something and they end up keeping it, but it's just a really beautiful palette. I've just really, really enjoyed this one. And then, um, next one is the Bridgerton palette by M Mother Pat McGrath. These two palettes are absolutely stunning. One is just warmer and one is more cooler. This was the first palette that they came out with, that she came out with. Absolutely beautiful. Love this. Love the shades in here. I just think it's really beautiful. Um, this one is a really beautiful palette too. It's just a little bit more, it just has a little bit more of a warmer story to it. It doesn't look warm in when you look at it, but when you actually put it on, it's a lot warmer than this one. Um, but if you were to choose, if I was to choose which one is better, I really have enjoyed this one a lot more than I have this one. Um, this one is really pretty, but I just have really enjoyed this one. So this is definitely, if you were to pick one out of Pat McGrath, I would definitely go with this one. 
and you know it's not one of it's not the super best one that she's ever had as far as I'm concerned but it is one of my favorite palettes that she's done because I just love the color story and I love the way that it looks and this color here this this ethereal looking color here is just I mean it's just spot on and it's just so beautiful um, but I definitely would pick this one um out of all of these palettes I would say so far, my top choice would be, to, to be honest with you, it's the boring, the neutral palette. Um, it's just such a great palette. So, I just, this has just been, so far, has been my favorite one so far. Um, I just have, but I've enjoyed, there's a lot more other palettes that I've gotten to that I've enjoyed, but I, these are just my top ones so far. Okay, so, um, so now we're going to go into blush. Um, I've got a few, I'm going to mention in cream blush too, so we're going to do both of them. We're just going to put blush all in one category. Um, so let's start off with the One Size Beauty. This is the, um, Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio. It has the cream blush in it, it has the powder blush, and then it has or like a, a powder topper over top of it. Absolutely stunning, guys. Really beautiful blush. I've worn this over and over and over again. The pigment is amazing. It stays on all day. Really, really super awesome blush. Definitely worth your money and worth your time. It's definitely, they have really nice colors. Just remember that they're very super pigmented. You only need a little bit of it and it goes a very, very long way. Out of a lot of blushes that I've tried, I've definitely been very impressed with this brand. This brand, totally for the year so far, has really impressed me. Um, I was going to put the bronzer in this list too, but I decided to not put it in here, but it is a really super awesome bronzer. So far, it's also another one that I've really enjoyed so far this year, but the blush is just really exceptional. Um, they do have this in quite a few different shades, so um, this one is just more of like a pinky, peachy type type of blush, but I love it. The cream is really beautiful. It goes on really pretty. They actually stay on. So, if you have dry skin like I do, or if you're looking for some blush to stay on, because sometimes blushes just don't stay on, I would definitely give this a check out. Um, the next one I would probably say is these beautiful, um, these beautiful Rare Beauty blushes, the liquid blushes. Absolutely love them. I can't remember the full name of them, but this one is Believe, this one is Lucky, and this one is, um, Grateful. Amazing lips. Uh, uh, great for cheeks. It's great for lips. It's great for eyes. You can use it everywhere. Of course, it's made especially for the cheeks, but these are just extremely, extremely pigmented. They do have have a couple different blush. They do have another type of blush that's more of a cream. This is just my favorite because I just love the pigment. I just think the pigment is great. The pigment stays too. It's also like a little bit of a dewy, but then it kind of, it dries down a little bit to like a little bit of a, um, a matte or like a natural finish. I just have really enjoyed these. So, these are really worth your time too. If you're looking for a really good long-wearing blush that's going to last you forever and maybe even possibly use it as a lipstick or as an all-in-one type product. I definitely think you would really enjoy these. They are really great and they're not that expensive either. I think they're around the 25, 20 some dollar mark or 28, but they're just really good and they'll last a really long time. Um, the next one I want to mention is the, um, this is the, uh, Pat McGrath. It is the Bridgerton 2. She did, um, she did blushes in the first collection, I think, but they were like repromotes, I believe. Um, but these are the blushes in here. Absolutely gorgeous. The most beautiful blushes so far of this year. They look so refreshing on the skin. They make your skin have a beautiful glow to them. And, and even the highlight is really, really super beautiful. I would definitely give these a check out. Um, the packaging is not the greatest. It's in a more of a cardboard packaging. A lot of people were very disappointed with the packaging. But if you really look at what's inside of it and really look at it, um, is it worth the price tag? Probably, I wouldn't know if it would be worth it. I think, I think this was like 60 or 65. I didn't really think I was going to enjoy this. I wasn't even going to pick this up. And then I decided to. It and the eyeshadow palette. But I really have enjoyed this. This is a really beautiful set of blushes. And you get like a pretty peach. You get a pretty pink. And you get a pretty berry. Um, so, I hope that she comes out with these and more individual ones. But I've really enjoyed this. Um, another, it's a blush. This is like a blush slash highlighter slash, it's a little bit of everything. And again, it was the Too Faced, and this is the Too Femme Ethereal Butterfly Babe. Um, and it is just so beautiful. As you can see, it's got this really beautiful sheen to it. 
It's like this peachy, peachy, pinky, beautiful goodness on the skin. It makes the skin look really fleshy and it makes it look really bright. It brightens it up. It gives this really beautiful glow to the skin. Um, if you're very fair, you could really get by with it as a blush. If you're a little bit more darker, it's going to leave more of kind of like that glow, which is what I really like it for. I usually take it all over the skin to brighten it up a little bit. When I just feel a little shallow and I want a little bit more, I just absolutely love it. It's just really beautiful. I don't know if this one's sticking around or not though, again, because it was part of the spring collection, but it's, I've loved it so much that um, I just had to conclude it in my favorite because it's just such a great, great um, blush slash highlighter slash whatever you want to call it. It's just really awesome and I've just really enjoyed it. Um, then next on the blush list, it's just the, well, actually it's a lip and a cheek tint. And these are the Chanel, um, these are the lip and cheek tints. Um, I think it's called, uh, the number one to Chanel, they're just like the bombs, but they are, but they're very, they're balmy, but you can use them on the lips and the cheeks. Um, on the lips, they're okay. They leave a little bit of a stain. I'm not really crazy about them on the lips. I prefer them on the cheeks. Um, these colors are just really beautiful. This, like, even the berry color is just so pretty, but it leaves, like, this really beautiful glow, and it does leave a little bit of a stain on the cheek. Um, I love the Wake Up Pink. If I, you just watched my Chanel video, I actually used this in the Chanel video. Really beautiful products. If you're getting it for the lip tint, they're not very hydrating on the lips. Um, I've not really been crazy about them on the lips. I feel like they're, um, actually, like, a little bit drier, but they're okay. They do leave a little bit of a stain. Um, I I just prefer them more of a blush, but they do have a little bit of a sticky feel. So if you don't like sticky in your cream blush, then you definitely won't like it. It would definitely be a pass. But they do have some really pretty colors, and it is really great. So if you're an Ulta, I would just check them out while you're there. Um, so next, let's do some, let's do a little bit of a couple of things in complexion. And I'm going to talk about some, a little thing that I guess to kind of be used more like primers, I guess, so to speak. Um, the first one I want to talk about is the North Face Skin Glass. Um, it's a healing and highlighting antioxidant face oil. This product is so beautiful on the skin on its own. I love wearing it before, like if y'all go to the gym in the morning just to put a little something on. Um, I have this in the original color. I can't remember the name of the color because the color is not on here. I forgot it, what it is, but it's the original, the OG, I think is what it's called. Um, it is just a really beautiful face oil. I love this with the water tint. Like I love to use this underneath the water tint and put the Chanel water tint over top of it. It looks really beautiful with it together. Um, I don't really like this underneath foundation though. Um, I think it, it just takes away from its beauty. I think it's kind of one of those products that's more of a, it's like a one and done type product that you just, or maybe with something very minimalistic. Um, but it is just absolutely stunning. It definitely, um, and sh definitely worth checking out. And she's an independent, um, uh, beauty brand. And it's just, I think you should definitely give her stuff to check out. It's really, it's really, really awesome. Um, the next one, I actually have two um, hide, um, primers from Natasha Denona, which is very, um, very interesting because typically I would never think that I would be that interested in products from Nat Natasha Denona as far as primers go, but I've actually got some complexion products that I've been very impressed with with her so far. One of them is the Face Glow Primer, and it comes in this jar. It is absolutely delicious. It feels delicious. It smells very light. It's very fresh. It's just a beautiful, beautiful um, overall hydrating primer for the skin. It just feels very nice. It feels very, it's not too greasy or anything. It comes in almost like cream. It kind of reminds me a little bit of almost like the Bobbi Brown Vitamin and Rich Face Base. It reminds me a little bit of that, but it leaves a really beautiful glow on the skin. And I just love the way it feels and the way it smells. And then also her Hyogen Skin Glass. Um, now, this is a little bit different from the North Face. The, this is the controversy that happened whenever it came out um, with the two products. I'm not going to go into that because that's a long detail. Um, but this product is more of a serum um, where the other product is more of an oil. Um, so this one kind of works as like an antioxidant type serum that you can put underneath your moisturizer, over top of your moisturizer, mix it with your foundation, a lot of different types of ways to use it. I absolutely love this. I've been using this almost every day as almost like a primer over top of my Dream Skin by Dior. I absolutely love it. It just makes my skin look really radiant. I also love when wear before I go somewhere. If I just want just my skin to just look radiant. It's just a really overall, I've been really impressed with this serum. Um, I didn't think that I would be, but I've really enjoyed it so far. So um, out of the three of them though, the probably the one that I've used the most is this one. 
and I absolutely love it um, because this is, works amazing underneath makeup. It's just really an overall good primer slash serum. So if you're looking for something like that, this would be really good. So, um, before I go on to, um, anything else and like foundations and concealers, I want to just throw this out there. Um, this is what I use as a little bit, I use this as a primer, which is the, or like a little bit underneath before I do foundation. And this is the Makeup by Mario, the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. Um, a lot of people either love this product or they hate this product. I've seen so many mixed results. I have this in the shade medium. Um, it's very balmy. I'm going to try to find a place that I don't have a mark yet, guys, so I can show you. But it's very balmy. It's very glowy. It has like a very, um, almost like a little bit of a tack to it. So when you do put foundation over top of it, it sticks to it really well. Um, and you know, it does give the skin like a little bit of olive or color. Um, I have seen a couple of reviews on where people just have not really enjoyed this or they don't know what to do with it. Um, I love it. I use it a lot and I put it underneath foundation the way I use it. I've tried it as a bronzer. I've tried it as a little bit of a, you know, over top or whatever and it's okay over top. I prefer this underneath though. I put it all over and then I put a foundation over top of it and what it does is it just brings the color, just brings out through it. The dewiness comes through it. Um, it just makes the skin overall, the skin just looks supple and looks really luscious. Um, this is a very multi-purpose type product. You can use it for many different types of things. You can use it for balm. You can use it for bronzer. You can use it as, you know, whatever you want to use it for. Um, I really like the idea of this product. Um, a lot of people, again, still don't understand how to use it. Um, that is just how I use it, how I liked it. And I actually put it on with a beauty blender, a damp beauty blender. I normally just take it and tap it all over my face and then apply the foundation over it. And I just feel like it just sticks to it a little bit more. I feel like it just gives it that really beautiful radiance from within. Especially if you want to go in with a little bit more of a matte foundation. It works really good with a matte too. Um, I would say, however, with this product, if you are not dry a normal I would not go with this do not if you're oily or combination especially in the summer this is a no-no maybe in the winter you might be able to get by with it but in the summer I would not mess with it because it's very it does leave a very radiant type look to the skin which is what he wanted it to I have the powder too and I have enjoyed the powder but this I've enjoyed really a lot getting down to the so I'm so um let's go into um foundation thick so let's go into some I'm going to talk a little bit about some some tints first, um, and we'll, then we will go into actual foundation. So I have really enjoyed the One Size Beauty, um, the Turn Up the Base BB Cream, and then the Rare Beauty, um, the Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer Sunscreen with SPF 20. They are both really super awesome products. I would say, that, again, with this one, a lot of mixed results with this product. Um, a lot of people have said, you know, and I'm very dry, and a lot of people that um, have had dry skin have not really liked this because it does leave a little bit more of that natural to more of a matte type of finish because it has a lot of silicone in it. Um, but this one leaves a very, very dewy, radiant, hydrated look to the skin. But you know what, guys? I just really like both of them. They're great for with your fingers. You don't need a brush. You don't need a sponge. I mean, you can blend it with a sponge if you want to, but they're just great. These are great finger type makeups. You just put a little bit on, you do this real quick, a little something with maybe a little concealer or whatever, and you're out the door. You don't have to worry about it. These are just great for that particular reason. There's not a lot of coverage to them. This can definitely give a little more coverage than this one does. This one's very sheer. Um, you can build it up a little, but, um, and it's very emollient, so it has a very radiant type look to the skin. When I first tried it, I thought it was going to be more matte, but it's actually very radiant. Um, and this one, I just love it. Just my glow comes through it, especially if I use something like the Makeup by Mario underneath it, or if I use one of the primers like the Hyogen over top of it or underneath it. I just love it. Um, so both of these are just really excellent, but they're more, you know, put on in and out the door type products. I think you would enjoy, if that's what you're looking for, you would really enjoy them. Now we're going to get into some foundation. So I will try my best to speed it up and not take too much time with it. But I'm going to start off with the two um, the two products that were really, that impressed me that I didn't think that I was going to like at all. Um, I did a Natasha Nadona video, I think it was in February, and I wanted to try her complexion products, and I never tried them before. And I tried the Face Glow Foundation, and I have this in a shade 45, and then I 
tried the Transform Matte, which was the Pore Vanishing Matte Foundation. Um, I tried them both apart. This one's more sheer to maybe sheer to maybe a light medium coverage. It's very pretty. Um, and this one does have a little bit more of a more of a like a natural matte finish. It's not a pure matte, but it's a really nice, it's got a little bit of a matter finish, but I will tell you the way I use them is I mix them together and I put them on with, um, I usually do it with a sponge and I do it damp and I put it on and it just looks absolutely beautiful over, especially over top of this or the hygiene. Looks so beautiful. Lasts all day. Really gorgeous. Not that you guys would want two foundations, um, you know, but I've really been impressed with these. I just really like them. I know a lot of people don't like Natasha's complexion products. They think they need to be reformulated. And I think she will eventually reformulate them because I think some of the colors are very, very um, sparse these days. But it is a really good um, set together. I just really enjoyed these. Um, another foundation I've really enjoyed so far this year is the number one de Chanel. Um, it's, just the, it's just so, so beautiful. It leaves the most beautiful medium, light to medium coverage with this really beautiful radiance to it. Um, your skin just looks so, it's like your skin, but better with just a little bit of a hydration. Now, this one I got in the shade BR42, and it's a little light for me now, um, but during the winter, it is really beautiful, but it just, it just makes your skin look so pretty. I love mixing this with my Sublimage, um, the liquid foundation. I mix them together, and it looks absolutely stunning together. So, if you want to mix this with another Chanel foundation, you definitely can, um, but I've actually really, really enjoyed this foundation so this has definitely been one of my top um the um other one of the other ones that i've really enjoyed is the capture total by dior i'm sorry i don't have the real bottle this is actually a, a tester that i have but i've actually really enjoyed the capture total the super um the super potent serum foundation is really good um, i actually have it on now so it looks really juicy it looks really fresh it gives your skin this really beautiful look to the skin i've really really enjoyed this foundation it does stay on really well all day especially if you're normal to dry if you're more normal to combination, you would even like it. It's very plumping. It's very refreshing, or not refreshing, not the word, but it makes your lines look more lifted. It just overall makes your appearance of your skin look gorgeous. It's just a beautiful foundation. It's a little pricey, but it's definitely worth the price tag if you're looking for something to really plump up your skin and make your skin look really beautiful and lustrous, but kind of like the satin to a luminous look. It's really beautiful. Of course, most of the Dior foundations are all beautiful, but this is just really pretty. Um, this one is the Shantakai. This is the Shantakai Future Skin Oil Free Gel Foundation. I just started getting into Shantakai. Um, I didn't have any Shantakai before, um, and I've really fallen in love with the brand. The brand is really beautiful. They have some really beautiful products, but this product is just so pretty. It's so whipped, and it looks really thick and cakey, like it's going to go into the skin, like really heavy, but it melts into the skin. You don't even see it. It leaves, it's, it's oil free, but it leaves like this really beautiful glow to the skin. It's just overall, it's a really beautiful foundation. You don't need much of it. A little bit of it goes a long way. You can get like a light to a medium coverage out of this or out of my experiences with it and using it on customers and stuff too. It looks really beautiful on the skin. It looks on beautiful on everybody. Everybody looks good in it. Um, it is just the Overall, this is a really nice foundation, too. So, this is the Lingerie de Peau Foundation by Guerlain. Um, and it has an SPF 20 in it. This foundation is just gorgeous. It's just supple. It's radiant. It makes your skin look beautiful. It gives this really beautiful glow to the skin. It lasts all day long. Um, every time I wear it, I always get so many compliments on it. Um, it gives you this really beautiful, youthful appearance. Um, Rissa Does Makeup is the one that turned me on to this. Um, again, it's not a makeup that's um, new new to the market. Um, it's been out for quite some time. I've had it before. Um, I just decided that I wanted to try it again because she kept raving about it and how much she loved it. And so I thought I would try it again because I'd tried it before in the past and it was okay. Um, but I just really, really have enjoyed it. It's just a really beautiful foundation. It gives a beautiful medium coverage. 
Um, it feels really lightweight on the skin. It does have the Guerlain. It does have a little bit of a smell to it. So if you're not into smells, um, also the Chanel also has a smell to it. The Dior has a little bit, but not much. But everybody else is pretty much kind of like fragrant. There's not a lot of fragrance to them at all. Um, and I think you would really like it, especially if you're a little more normal to dry, normal combination. A bit more of that, you want something a little radiant, a little fresh, a little ra um, a little uplifting. It is just a really nice makeup. So, so far, the top two foundations so far this year are the, um, the Wayne Goss, the Luxury Cream Foundation, and the Vanessa, the Vanessa Myricks Yummy Skin Foundation. And I can't tell you how much I've wore both of these products and they wear so beautifully. Both of them are just absolutely stunning makeups. The Wayne Goss makeup, it looks like it's gonna be really thick and heavy. It's not, it's very light. It's very, it's really like this lightweight, cream makeup it goes on you can build it a little bit he says you can build it a lot i don't think you can build it a lot i think you get like maybe a medium maybe a light to maybe a medium coverage with it i do it with a damp sponge i do not use it with a brush um it goes on absolutely stunning it stays on all day long if you set it with powder it just looks amazing all day your skin looks so good every time i wear this everybody's like oh my god what do you have on it is so pretty it, it just it does not it comes off it doesn't come off until i take it off which is very rare for me because usually most foundations evaporate into my skin i just absolutely love this foundation i was so 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 impressed with this foundation and the next one is the yummy skin uh, serum foundation by Danessa myricks again i don't don't have a lot of Danessa Myricks. That would be my girlfriend, Glam Girl Chelsea, because she thawks her and she loves her so much. <laughs> she loves Danessa. She's actually part, I think it's part of her angel, um, where, you know, they get, they get PR and special perks and everything. Um, you know, but, um, she's a big Danessa Myrick fan. So if you love Danessa Myricks, so you want to know more about Danessa, go over to Chelsea's channel and she can tell you all about it because she has everything Danessa has. Um, but this is just such a beautiful product. Again, it has like, it's a refillable. You can just twist it off and just by the refill, but it has a little spout on top of it. But guys, let me tell you, the coverage in this is insane. Like a little bit goes a long way. You do not need a lot of it. Again, I use it with a damp sponge. I do not use it with a brush because the brush is just way too much coverage with the brush. Um, but it is so beautiful on the skin, especially if you're a little bit more on the dry side and you just use a little bit of it, it goes a long way, even a little bit up around the eye area. It just is so beautiful. It stays all day long. It will not come off once it dries and once it sets down a little bit. And if you want to use some powder over top of it, it just looks amazing on your skin. It is just an overall, it's waterproof, it's transfer resistant. It's just the gorgeous. But you know, between these two, I'm having a hard time deciding on which one, but I wear these the most out of any of my foundations right now. These are the two that I usually reach for. I've really been wearing them quite a bit and I've really been enjoying them. Um, so those are my top two so far. So I was going to see what it's going to be or who it's going to be maybe later on in the season that may knock them out of the top spot. We'll have to wait and see. But so far, these are my favorites. But as far as concealers go, there's only two. Um, the first one is the, the clay, to, I'm sorry, the Chantecai. Um, it is the, the Camouflage Stilo Pen, and I have it in the shade 4. And then the Huda Beauty. This is the Fox Filter Concealer. Oh, my God. You guys, these two together, when you mix them together, are just... I mean, it's just like, wow. You just... You would not believe what this concealer will do. It makes your under eyes look so pretty and so fresh and so filtered. I mean, it's just absolutely, sad. I did not think I was going to like this concealer. I thought it was going to be very matte. It was going to be crepey and I was going to like it. Absolutely love it. And when I mix this one with it, because it gets just a little radiance and just a little bit more lifting to it, it just is so, so pretty together. I've also mixed my Tarte Creaseless uh, Concealer with it to give a little bit more dew, and it looks so pretty together. So this is a good mixing concealer for me. So if you are new to my channel, I love the mix. I mix all the time. I just love mixing concealers. I mix a darker one and then a lighter one together to get the consistency that I want. But, but I have used this one alone, and it works great. 
great on mom too. So if you're looking for a really good concealer with a really pretty doe fit, it's really nice medium to full coverage. You don't need a lot of it. This one is more sheer. It's more radiant. It's more, it's got more of a dewier look to it, but it comes in a little pen. So you get, it's like, it's more of a pen. Um, so there's not a lot of product in this one where there's a lot of product in this one. This one's only 29. This one's a lot more. I think this one's like, 60 or 50 something, I believe, but it is a really beautiful product, but you, a little bit of it does go a long way. I do have it on now. Um, it's just really, really pretty. Both of them are just beautiful. I've really been using this since I've gotten it. I've just basically, all my other concealers, unless I'm mixing something with it, it's usually pretty much this is the one that I've been going with. So I absolutely love it. Um, we only have one setting spray and that is the Jaclyn. This is the Jaclyn and Robin mix together setting spray. Um, um, it's the offset setting spray. I absolutely love the setting spray. I've got it on now. I love it. It actually makes my skin look so good. Um, it makes it look so radiant. Um, I, um, it does have a smell to it. There's a lot of different types of oils in it. So if you're not into oils or smells or whatever in your setting spray, you're not going to like it. It does leave a little bit more of a dewy look, which I mean, you know, Jacqueline said it didn't, but it does. But it does make your makeup stay on all day. I will say that much. It is just a really beautiful spray. It's just, it, it just, it's a very light mister. It's awesome. It's just a great setting spray. I would definitely give it a check out if you're looking for a good setting spray. Um, I know a lot of people don't care for Jacqueline, but I'm really just impressed with Jacqueline's overall products. Um, you know, her lip oils are my favorite lip oils of all. I love her powders, which I actually am going to be talking about in a minute. Um, there's just so many good things that she has. Um, I really enjoy her products. I mean, um, I don't really look, I always look at, I always don't look at the actual whatever the brand owner or whoever is i look at the products that they're pushing uh, or the products that they make and if they work then if i like them then i'm going to talk about them but if, you know if i don't like them then i'm not going to talk about them or i just don't buy them anymore but i'm really enjoyed everything that i've got by her so i just absolutely love it I've, um i just i don't really have a lot of powder bronzers i do like the l'oreal one and i do love the patrick uh, the one size beauty i do love the powder ones they are really great but the two that i want to talk about today one is the rare beauty and this is the um this is uh always sunny and it's a stick it's the stick bronzer and then this is the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin uh bronzer cream bronzer and i have this one in the shade i think it says tan i've been in tan i have it on now i absolutely love it both of these products are just absolutely beautiful creamy dreamy steamy um <laughs> what else Ralph was teamy? I don't know. It just they are just the best bronzers. They are so beautiful. This one is a little bit more this one's a little bit more radiant. This one's a little bit more matte. Um this one does dry down to a natural finish, but this one is more of a matte, but it's a cream, but it blends beautifully into the skin effortlessly. Um, absolutely no issues whatsoever with blending. You don't have to worry about getting too much. It blends so beautifully into the skin. Um, this one does the same, just a little swipe. You blend it. It looks so good into the skin. Um, if you're definitely looking for a cream bronzer and you want to try something out, I definitely would give these a, a shout out or give them a shot. Um, you know, one is just a little bit more, it's in a stick. It's a little bit more, it has a little bit more radiance to it. This one just has a little bit more matteness to it, but both of them are are just really beautiful, super easy, easy to blend. Um, looks great all day, stays on all day. Um, just awesome cream bronzers. And you can do them, and you can do these both over top of powder or without powder. I've tried it both ways, and they both work great with, with and without powder. So these are awesome to try too. Okay, we are we are like thirty some minutes in, I think. So we're we're getting there. So we're getting there. We're almost there. I have so now we're gonna talk about powder real quick. So I have three loose powders that I love. This is the Estee Lauder the Double Wear Translucent Soft Glow Powder, and this one is the Jacqueline and Robin Collection in sheer. I got this in sheer fair and the powder move. And then this is the Huda Beauty, and this is in the shade Cherry Blossom Cake, which has got like more of a pink tint to it. I absolutely love these powders. 
and all of them are just great. Like these two, these two have a little bit more of a glow to them. They're a little bit more of a glow. So if you're dry skin and you're looking for a really good powder, but you want it to set down, this one is not it. This one's a little more glowy than this one. This one's a little bit more. It's it dry. It still has a radiance to it, but it's not like a greasy look. This is a little bit more of a radiance, but it sets your under eye makeup really beautifully. So if you're looking a good under eye powder, absolutely stunning. This one is just so beautiful all over the skin makes your makeup. I love to put it over top of this with the Wayne Goss or with the Vanessa. Vanessa, I love those two together. This one works really great on all of them too. Um, and then the Huda, this one, I got it in a miniature because I can never get it in the bigger one, but it is just absolutely stunning. The color is really pretty. It's like a pink, but it's not. It's not like really pinky. Um, but it's just so brightening, and I, and you know, usually I love, and I have the Huda, I have the bigger one, and I think it's Cupcake or Pound Cake or one of those, um, and I love it, but, and usually it's a little bit more matte, but this one's got a little bit of a, a little bit more radiance in it, which I really enjoy. It's very brightening. It's very beautiful. I love the little mini, by the way, because they're really great. You can just twist the top of them, and they just come up like that. So, if you don't want to get a big one, she actually has, like, almost all of them, I think. They're all in minis now. Absolutely super, super cute. Um, but they're just all really good powders. I've really enjoyed all of them. Um, so, so far, I don't know which one's going to be the number one, depending on what happens later on in the year, but so far, I'm really, really enjoying the, um, I'm probably going to say the double wear the best so far, but I do love all of them. I've been using them all the same, so, you know, but I do really love them. I only have one eyeshadow base, and that is the Jaclyn First Base um, Eyeshadow Primer. Absolutely love it. It is just a dream to put on the lid. It's so creamy. It's very serum-y like. It's got a little bit of a skincare feel to it, so it doesn't make your eyelids look crepey or dry or heavy or whatever. It is just absolutely stunning. Love, love, love this eyelid primer. It's really good. If you're looking for a really good eyelid primer, but you, they're usually too matte or they're usually too drying or they don't look very good on your eyelid, I would definitely give this one a shout or give it a check out because it is really, really good. And then next, so let's talk about mascaras. So I have three here that I've absolutely fallen in love with. The YSL, this is the, um, I always forget the name of it. This is the YSL, the Lash Clash, the MAC Stack, and then the Lancome Hip Louis. Um, Hypnose is absolutely great. Mascara is so good. Um, but I want to just throw out there really quickly why I like each one of them. So this one is really beautiful volume, thickening, gorgeousness, just absolutely stunning. The MAC is also a really good one. Really beautiful, separating, lengthening, can build and build and build. It just makes your lashes look really gorgeous, beautiful volume. The only thing I don't like about the MAC, though, is it doesn't, stay, during the day, it will run on me a little bit. So, it's not a very good, as far as, like, long wear on me or something that I can wear without it transferring because it does transfer me on a little bit, but, but the look of it is gorgeous. But now, the Y, but the Y, ISL, perfect all day, stays on great, doesn't smudge, anything great. And then the Lancome, the Louis, is a newer mascara that just came out. And um, a lot of people, I'm going to just tell you about it. So, first of all, you know, because you're supposed to kind of like twist it around like this about eight times before you actually use it. Um, it's a very unique kind of mascara, but I'm going to tell you how I use it because I have it on now. Um, and I don't have any fake lashes or anything on, but I have it on now. Um, I did put a little bit of another one underneath it, but I usually use this over top of a mascara because of the bombs in it or the black, the, uh, the black bomb that's in it. It's so pigmented and so black. It makes your lashes look so black and so rich and so full. And I just really love it over top of a mascara or use it underneath a mascara as a base. Makes them look really thick and luscious because it's a serum mascara. There's no wax in it. It's, it's like, it's all like 5% shea butter. It's like very natural. It's just a great mascara underneath. I get so many compliments. I've been wearing it every day, especially to work because if I do work for long home and I go in, I work, I've been wearing it to help sell the mascara. And people have just been like, what do you have on your lashes? It looks so pretty. Your lashes look so pretty. What do you have on? And I just love it. I use it all the time. I love the packaging, love everything about it. So I will use like, 
look, this one, when I use, I use the YSL first and then I'll put this over top of it or sometimes I'll go backwards and do this one first and then put this one over it. Um, and then I've tried it with all other different types of mascaras. I've tried it with the Fenestils. I've tried it with his Drama. I've tried it with Mr. Big. I've tried it with, uh, you know, Maybelline, Sky High. I've tried it with many different types of mascaras and it works great with all of them. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't flake. It doesn't leave anything. It stays on all day. Um, you know, which really impressed me because it removes really easy with warm water and I thought that it would like for sure it would run everywhere but it doesn't it's just a really good mascara so I really like it alone it's very natural on this own um it's gonna give you like some volume but it's not it's a very natural volume so it's not gonna give you this really big lift so if you're looking for big lifting mascara it's not gonna give you that but if you like to if you like to blend your mascaras together and you like to layer it would be a really good layering or a really good primer underneath. So definitely check it out as a primer if you have it. Use it as a primer first and then put a mascara over top that you love. And I promise you, you will absolutely fall in love with it because it's so good. And it makes your lashes feel really good. And I feel like even after using it for four weeks, um, every day I've noticed that I feel like my lashes are getting a little bit longer. They're getting more stronger. So the serum in it is actually working. So the amino, the uh, eight amino acids in it. Um, I, I think it's working. So, I mean, I really have been enjoying it. Okay, so we are down to a couple lip products and some liners and we're done. So, um, so let's talk about, um, let's talk about some eyeliners. So, um, my favorite eyeliners so far have been the Jacqueline eyeliners. So, I have this one in black brown and this one in blackberry. Absolutely love this color. Stunning eyeliners. And then I have the Chanel Le Crayon Cole and this one is in the shade Ombra. Uh, amber or maybe like amber. Um, these are so good, guys. They stay on all day. They won't come off. They're great for tight lining, great for in the waterline. Really, really, really super good eyeliner. So if you're looking for a really good creamy eyeliner and it goes on really good but dries really well but stays on all day, this is awesome. Same thing with the Chanel. This is the, the more of a crayon coal pencil. So usually whenever you do more of a crayon coal, they're more smudgy and they kind of they have that smudgy feel to them and they kind of feel like a little more mullient. It does when it first goes on, but then once it dries, it stays on really, really well. I really enjoy these. Um, they remind me a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury ones. Um, so it is a really good eyeliner. So if you're looking for good eyeliner, Chanel does have a really good, the cold pencils are really awesome, but I've really enjoyed the Jacqueline too. And then speaking of Jacqueline, we'll go into lip liner, her lip liners are so, so good. They're right up there with Christian Audette for me. The Christian Audette lip liners are the best, some of the best on the market. The, this is another one that's really good. Super creamy, blendable, comfortable, stays on, won't transfer into your lip line, dries to a little, like a nice mount, um, matte, soft matte feel to it. Really good over underneath a liquid lipstick or over top under with another lip, lipstick over top of it. Really beautiful. I had this one in the shade Sweetheart. So pretty. Such a beautiful color, too. It's really, they're just really, really good lip liners. And then also the Dior lip liner. And this is in the shade, this is just one of the ones that I have. But this is a, a sample size, and this is in the shade Jungle. But these are great, guys. They're waterproof. They stand really well. You just have to put them on and let them dry. And you have to put them on a dry lip. The same thing with the Jacqueline. Put it on a dry lip. Let it dry down for about two minutes without any lip gloss or lip balm on your lips. Let it set, and it will stay. And what is really cool is if you take it and you fill them in, you can just put a gloss over them, and they'll stay on really, really well all day. Amazing lip liners. Both of them are really super good great if you're looking for a really good lip liner and then last but not least we have lipstick and lip glosses um so two um i'm gonna leave the one set for the end but um there's three lipsticks i wanted to talk about one is the long comb the drama matte um this one is mademoiselle isabella but i have this in a couple shades but this is just such a beautiful creamy lipstick it's a beautiful they have these in matte and they're also in more of a satin formula so if you're looking for more of a creamy formula more of a hydrating go with the creamy but these beautiful new reformulated lipsticks are just absolutely gorgeous the packaging is just really beautiful it's the beautiful lipstick overall and then the Dior the Dior attic lipsticks the reformulation of these are just absolutely stunning the color selection is absolutely gorgeous 
Um, if you follow Charlotte Hallcraft, she loved it. I think she's got just about all of them now. Um, she absolutely loves these. They're just really beautiful. This one is the Tyne Dior. Um, it's just a really beautiful nude, but it's just, these are just great. They're glossy, they're balmy, but yet they've got coverage, they've got pigment. Really beautiful. Um, then the Too Faced, this is the shade Crazy for You. These are the hardcore lips, lip dicks. They came out with these in um, spring. Um, they still have these. They're really beautiful, but look at that shade, how beautiful. They're almost like a, um, they have a cherry smell to them. So if you don't like smell, you won't like them, but they're really cute because it comes in like a little, it comes in like a little bit of a heart shape type. Uh, let me try to get back on there again. A little bit of a heart shape at the top and then the little the bullet it's really cute got a little heart on the top of it really creamy really nice really soft colors they have some really beautiful bright shades in this and some very subtle shades in it so if you're looking for a really creamy glossy another type of a, uh, a really creamy lipstick you may really enjoy this one um two lip glosses i wanted to mention um the Chantecai lip gloss and this is in the shade glee absolutely love it really beautiful it's really sheer really pretty just has a really beautiful pinky tone to it absolutely love this um and then i also love the pat mcgrath this is the blue astral moonflower oh my god it is just the most stunning lip gloss it is just so pretty look at that how beautiful that is it's got this beautiful shift to it where it hits like sometimes it looks gold sometimes it looks blue sometimes it looks like it's got a little bit of a purple it's just a gorgeous overall lip gloss it's beautiful by itself it's beautiful with something it's beautiful over top of something absolutely beautiful i do have some more lip uh oils that i've been using um i've, I've been trying the new tart the new the america Kuja oil one or the one with a little bit of the plumping in it. I've been trying that one. There's quite a few other lipsticks that I've been trying, but these so far are like my favorites that I've used so far this year that I've really enjoyed. But but we've saved the best for last. Um, the best collection of the season. And I'm not just saying this because she is my friend and she is my friend and I do love her and I do love Christian Audette. Um, and I did get these in PR, but again, it's not because I got these in PR and it's not because Tara is my friend, but I absolutely love her collection with Christian Audette and then her lip gloss and Ray and then her lipstick and Bare Nectar. Absolutely beautiful shade. Just perfect for every day. It's great as a cream blush on your cheeks. It's just a beautiful overall lipstick and the beautiful gloss Ray that comes with it. It's so beautiful. It is just so stunning. If you guys can see it, I put it right here so you can see it. It's just a really beautiful pinky coral. The combination of the two together are gorgeous. The lip gloss is gorgeous by itself. The lipstick is gorgeous by itself because it's this beautiful peachy nude just gorgeous for every day. You can see that my tube is already starting to like, I'm already starting to lose it because I've been using it so much. And this I've been carrying in my pocket like a lot. I just love the way that it feels. I love the way that it smells. It's just absolutely stunning. Great, great combination. They come together in a duo. It's on the Christian Audet website. You can save, uh, you get, gave 10 and you can save 10% if you decide you ever want to get it. Um, but it's about 53 or 52 for the bundle, I believe. But Christian Audet lipsticks are so amazing. They're some of the best on the market. Um, they're just not a department store or in a Ulta or Sephora, but you can definitely get that online. But they're just really super amazing glosses. Uh, I mean, just super amazing lipsticks. <laughs> I keep trying to get talking like, so my brain is getting right because I was like, so much to go through. So we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. So this is it. Um, I hope you guys like this list. Um, I hope you please let me know down below if you've tried any what some of your favorites are for this. You know, so far from January on up to now, you know, what are you thinking? What have you liking? What have you enjoyed? I mean, is there anything new? Is there some things you didn't like? Please let us know down below. We would love to hear from you. We'd love to hear your feedback. We'd love to hear chit chat. I love to hear you guys talking amongst each other. It just brings joy to my heart. So I really do appreciate that and I love it. Um, so definitely leave a comment down there below. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't, then you know, I'm so sorry. I just don't know what to tell you and you just have to do a thumbs down and that is the way life goes. <laughs>
<laughs> it is what it is, you know, so that's the way it kind of works. So anyway, guys, that is it for today. I really do appreciate you if you waited, if you've made it this long. I really do appreciate you. Anyway, remember, please be safe, be strong, be proud, stand tall, love yourself, and remember to tell somebody that you love them today because life is way too short, guys, and you need to make sure that you tell people that you love them especially this day and time. And then also remember to be kind to somebody today. A little kindness can go off a long way and we all need some kindness these days. Um, you know, sometimes a little smile or something can mean an awful lot to someone. And with that said, guys, you know, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you. Have a wonderful rest of your day and take care and we will see you again in the next episode. Bye.